Philippine news today. Please subscribe and then check notification box to get all breaking news alert. First Lady Melania Trump is bringing a traditional Christmas back to the White House, and most Americans are excited at the prospect. However, there are those who notice every little thing, particularly Michelle Obama's minions, looking to protest anything the Trumps do. So, when Melania gave a preview of some of the White House Christmas decor, leave it to the haters to whine about the former First Lady's prized possessions that were missing. Melania Trump is taking her role as the First Lady seriously, but she faces heavy scrutiny from the liberal media and their cohorts in the Democratic Party. The women on The View, who call themselves feminists, constantly bash her, and they are just one example of the hatred Flotus faces every day. Christmas decorations are usually a woman's thing, and living at the White House is no different. Every First Lady follows examples from the previous administration as they pick a theme and are shown the Christmas ornaments that have been left by former First Ladies. So, when Melania Trump hinted in a tweet that she would be bringing back Christmas traditions to the White House, the Liberals started to trash her on social media. When she picked a mom from South Dakota to head up part of the volunteers decking the halls of the White House, it became apparent that Michelle Obama's prized ornaments would not make it to the light of day. Can you blame the First Lady? Many of you might not know what kind of holiday decorations Michelle left behind, hoping Hillary would win. As Fox News reported back in 2009, Mao Zedong is in the White House, hanging out with a drag queen. Not far away, Barack Obama is making a play to have his head etched in stone. Michelle's first Christmas as the First Lady was in 2009, and the official White House Christmas tree featured ridiculous ornaments, including an orb depicting the late Chinese dictator, another that showed drag queen had a lettuce, and yet another that showed a picture of Mount Rushmore, with Obama's head pasted to the side of Washington, Lincoln, Jefferson, and Roosevelt's. We can't make this stuff up, folks. Can you believe the Obamas had the audacity to honor Christ's birth with an ornament of Mao Zedong who killed 45 million people in China? The Washington Post reported on the tale of horror in which Mao emerges as one of the greatest mass murderers in history, responsible for the deaths of at least 45 million people between 1958 and 1962. Now, that is sick. So, when Melania posted a few pics of the White House in the midst of doing the Christmas decorating, that disgusting comment all came from Michelle's minions who love how she had the gall to have Christmas ornaments of a mass murderer and of a drag queen. The drag queen, had a lettuce, commented back in 2009, I may never get equal rights, I may never be blonde and pencil thin. But one of my balls is hanging in the White House with my name for all to see. One Twitter user said of Melania going with traditional decor, where's the tiny gold toilets? Another hater, retweeted, useless said Flotus wise to stay with frivolous fluff she's ineffective otherwise. A self-described Michelle Obama fan named Liberally Thinking was told by Trump supporters to calm down after she saw the first lady accept the Christmas tree, and she responded by tweeting, I have no intention of calming down. I have every intention of fighting like hell every day for the next three years. Most of the haters responded to the First Lady's Christmas decor with real disgusting comments, calling her derogatory names or worse. It is so bad, we refuse to post any of it. The deep-seated hatred coming from these Obama minions is easy to explain by those of us who believe in Christ. Godlessness got a foothold inside the White House. And now, that evilness has been banished by President Trump and Melania. Evil dwells where it is invited, and when you hang up a Mount Zedong ornament, that's pure evil. Melania is bringing back Christ into the White House, and we, as a nation, are blessed by God when our leaders do such things. Let the haters hate, let them have their evil. Patriotic Christian Americans took back the White House, and there is nothing they can do or say. Mao Zedong is gone and Jesus Christ is back in the people's house. Share the story and leave a comment by clicking one of the buttons below. Follow us on Facebook at Mad World News. World News.